at 7.30, we got one of our many, many 7.30 games. I, I know you think that I was over-exaggerating, but we still got, like, four more 7.30 games. Insane 7.30 window here, guys. But South Carolina, we got 3-2. and two. Carolina number 13, Kentucky is 4-1. and one. Kentucky here by 6.5 points on SEC Network. Spencer, I hardly know her. Rattler, I hardly know her. Said 90 on 98 to 151 here early on. Throws for 1,121 yards, four touchdowns, seven interceptions. Not the best stats for the guy that was supposed to go number one overall two years ago. Actually, a year ago. If we go flashback to a year ago, this was the guy that was supposed to go number one overall, guys. Insane. Uh, Marshawn Lloyd has had 53 carries for 324 yards and six touchdowns. And Antoine Wells Jr. has had 24 catches for 309 yards and a touchdown. Will Levis has gone 97 and 141, thrown for 1,405 yards, 12 touchdowns, four interceptions. Cavassier Smoke on the ground has had 53 carries for 269 nice yards on the ground and a touchdown. Tavion Robinson has had 24 catches for 365 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, South Carolina, weirdly enough, leads the series all time 18 14. The last two games have gone to Kentucky in 2020 and 2021. Last South Carolina victory was in 2019, but before, if you include all the Kentucky victories before and after that, Kentucky has won seven of the last eight times these two teams have played. And while South Carolina has not looked like a great football team so far, and Kentucky has, I would very much consider this heading into this game a pretty easy victory for Kentucky, right? They're coming off a heartbreaker against Ole Miss, and I just feel like Kentucky's not the football team to lay down and die, and more like a football team after a tough loss to come out and beat the crap out of a weak opponent like South Carolina. But then I got the news that Will Levis is questionable for this football game. And if Will Levis does not play, I don't know if they win it, right? And as a Florida fan, oh, please, oh, please, please, please lose this football game, Kentucky. That would be so, so great. So great. I need you guys to get the three losses, two right off the bat. Would be phenomenal. Great news for Gators fans everywhere. But... Uh, this is going to be a really interesting football game, especially if Will Levis does not play. South Carolina does have a shot in this one. Um, I would not say the the Gamecocks are one of the better teams on this side of the SEC, and I would not even say they had a shot in this one if Will Levis was playing. But Will Levis might not be playing, and I think this game largely hinges on that fact. If Will Levis plays, I think this is a pretty easy victory for Kentucky. If Will Levis doesn't play... I think this is a toss-up game, for sure. Um, I think another thing worth noting is Cavazier Smoke finally got his partner in crime return last week, although it was a bittersweet moment because they ended up losing that game. But Chris Rodriguez for Cavazier Smoke is back, and now the two-headed monster is going to have a great chance. But in this game, this is an elimination game. Remember, uh, Kentucky lost last weekend against Ole Miss. Um, so they have a great chance at <laughs> at being eliminated from playoff contention here. The South Carolina Rattlers have a great chance at sending this team packing. Um, and uh, if Will Levis does, I think this game largely hedges on the fact that Will Levis does or does not play. I expect Will Levis to play. Give me the Kentucky Wildcats to win and cover here, although I'd love it if the Gamecocks pull off the huge upset. 